Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Uh, last time, uh, we got into a few battles and we opened up the black box, so... Now, apparently, he's gonna curse us, so let's see what this curse is. Step on certain areas, press Y, and I'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee trembling yet? Suffer at the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee Oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed! This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I'll have to... Uh, explain it. Ready? No, you don't have to explain it. But all you basically do is step on one of these airplane panels and press Y, and then you turn into a paper airplane, just like that. Control the altitude with left and right, that's pretty much it, so. Uh, I'll just skip the rest of it. Oh! I really. Oh! Crap! I can't believe I just did that. Ugh, oh, that is annoying. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Yes, I get it, it's terrible. Just just let me leave. Oh, that was so dumb. That's what I get for rushing. Oh, man, that is a pain. What's that guy's beef? The beef! Sorry, it's a joke. A friend of mine uh, really likes it when I do that. I don't know why, though. It was pretty funny back then, but not not really anymore. All right, so here we have the Thousand Year Door. A wonderful, miraculous door which holds many secrets. Oh, Mario, Goombella, look. Look at that. There's no second look. Shut up, stupid. It's the Thousand Year Door, spoken of, spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. Is that closer? More? Okay, now I'm just being dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal? What do you think it could be? Is it a button? No. Let's stand on it. Whoa. My, my uh, TV screen went gray there for a second. Flickered. So, a uh, mysterious thing is happening. What's going on? It's a curse. We're being cursed twice in one video. That sucks. So, the magical map is floating above us. I like this shot. Like, it, it, I like it how it spins around around Mario. It never does that again, I don't think. Not off the top of my head, I can't really remember. But, uh, uh, yeah. I, I enjoy that shot, though. I like it. So, the Thousand Year Door has given us our first Crystal Star location. So, we know it's in a castle somewhere far, far away. I also like that shot too, where, where it looks like sticky notes flying off the screen. I always, I always like that one pretty uh, as well. Uh, Mario's learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. I never use that. Learn a new special move. Never use street, Sweet Treat. The map. Crazy lights. Hmm. It appears that the information re related to the locations of the Crystal Stars have appeared. Yeah, we, we noticed. Oh, sorry about that. And that shining light. It looked as if mysterious power was given to Mario. Yes, it was. One way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. No! I don't want more talking. Load. Load, load, load. There it is. Hmm, aha, I see. You see what? What do you see? You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. My reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. Special move, not star move. But yeah, those are those are really helpful to me. Uh, stuff like this is better explained rather than simple words. Uh, no thanks, I'll show it later. No! Yes, I know how to use them. Can I leave? Right, I like functions. Petal Meadows. That is our first location. Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Roadport. To tell you the truth, I always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did not come uh, did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. 
If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipes travel efficient. Uh, uh, where'd you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach! Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach. Yes, that is her, in fact. So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal house and my suspicion about Petal Meadows. Uh, it didn't seem likely. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to the Petal Meadows on her own. Well, it's really unlikely that she did, considering what we're going to see down in the, in the sewers. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Uh, nope, she would not. Off to Petal Meadows, you two. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up with her. Collecting the crystal stars means... A uh, means to an end. Sorry, but the... Uh, yeah, skip that. <laughs> okay, give me my map back. I want to get on with this adventure. No more talking. Yeah, you stay in town. I'm, I've had enough of you talking. <coughs> uh, that a shriveled little Goomba like me could handle the trials of this road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? What advice? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Finally! Okay, so there we go. Wait just a moment. Give me my badge. I... I always equip that badge, and I never get rid of it. Take this with you, badge, and it's incredibly helpful. Tis, it is. Uh, you see, depending on the badges you've equipped it, you'll get much more powerful. Uh, would you like to practice? No. Uh, no. Yes, I know. I need flower points. So what I was talking about before is if you have a crowd and you do those stylish moves like I've been doing, then the crowd will, will shriek and it will refill your, uh... Hey Mario, what's the deal? You didn't equip the ba- Oh, whoops. Uh, whoops. I guess I should do that now. Uh, badges. I completely forgot about that. Okay, there we go. So now we have, uh, Power Smash. But, yeah, it will refill your star gauge. And, uh, the stylish moves can be really helpful. Whoa, that was close. I was not looking where I was going. Ooh, what's this thing? Let's hit it with a hammer. Oh, whoops. Oh, but wrong button. Bloop, bloop. Ouch, that hurt. I'm sure it would, getting hit with a wooden mallet. <laughs> My old, uh, woodworking teacher in grade 8, he used to have this, uh, this mallet. See, there's our crowd. He used to have this mallet. And uh, whenever the class wasn't doing their work or they were being too loud, he would grab that mallet and slam it as hard as he possibly could on this table, and everyone in the class jumped like it scared the it scared the crap out of everybody. And uh, <laughs> but me, I always used to see him like raise it in the corner of my eye using my peripherals, and uh. <laughs> and he almost never scared me when he did. It was really funny seeing everyone else jump. Uh, press it. Yeah, I know. Skip, 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 skip. Can't flee this fight. Okay, so I'm gonna use Gumbella's tattle first. Okay, only the blooper. Da -da -da. Boom! Uh, that's a blooper and a really super humongous one, too. <laughs> it's all slimy. I just can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G R O S S. Gross. Uh, 12. Defense is 0. It attacked with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both of its tentacles, it will fall down, then it's, then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax on the house. Now relax and house on that. Oh, okay. Okay, so, yeah, you see that? The stars, they went up there. That refills your star meter. So, yeah, so, not much going on right now. There we go. That was a perfect one. Okay, so attack again. Uh, I'll attack the left one. Even everything out. <clears throat> yeah, so there's not really much going on right now. Uh, Christmas has just passed. Uh, oh no. Oh no. No. Oh man. I feel like that's the one attack that always seems to get me. Boom. Okay, you see those two flowers up in the top left corner? Yeah, that's gonna happen. So then. You, it's basically a roulette. You get two, and if you match them all up like I just did, then you get bingo, 
and it refills whatever you got. If it's a heart, then, you, then it restores all HP for you and your partner. Flower restores all FP to use for special moves. If it's a star, uh, it refills your star meter. Uh, it, um, oh, I missed. If it's a star, it refills your star meter. If it's, a, if it's a shine sprite, it will refill, it will refill everything. And, uh, and if it's a poison mushroom, then, uh, then it, I think, I don't normally get those. I think it takes about half of your HP away. I, I don't think, I may have gotten that once, first time I played this. I don't get it very often. Power smash, takes a bit longer. Let's see, yeah, yeah, ah, oh, That's like my favorite one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, he's down to four. One more turn. Oh, I can never seem to get that one. I need the timing tutor for that. Oh, I probably will get it and equip it. Just to show you what it does. Oh, jeez, I'm running out of time here. I think we'll just get to uh, chapter one. Computer's falling asleep. There it goes. Balloon. Where that? Where does he go? He just like flies through the roof. All right. Precision jumping. Any classic Mario game. Oh, there goes Goombella. All right, so through this pipe, we go to. Oh, sorry, I had to burp again. Taking a long time to load. There we go. We go to Chapter One: Castle and Dragon. <laughs> first time I played this, the first boss was very difficult for me, but I didn't know the secret to it at first. Took me, like, I think I beat it the legit way, and then I beat it the second time I played through. I beat it the easier way, and that's the way I do it uh, every time now. Here we are, the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo, here we go, Mario. The start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Through this playthrough, I'm probably going to try to get every shine sprite, and but I'm not going to go for all the, the crystal shards, just because I very rarely use those. I only use them to buy a few badges, but the first crystal shard is in one of these trees. There it is, a star piece. And and there's a mushroom there. So I'm probably gonna cut the video.